So what does it actually mean then, you know, when someone does, let's say, uh, have one of those strange experiences that leads them to start thinking that there's some kind of like spiritual reality in the world? I mean, what does it actually mean in practice? And what kind of things can we say uh, as a result of these things, as a result of these experiences? Well, that's the problem, okay, because, because that's the problem. It's not the answer. The problem is that we don't know what the answer is. The problem is that the experiences are there. The problem is that we try and break these things down and then create all kinds of weird theories and listen to people who've got all kinds of weird theories and start to think, well, maybe there's some truth in it and maybe there is some truth in it. But the problem is we don't, we, no matter how far down the road of like intellectualization we go, we will never come close to the truth. Now, some of you people who have been watching this channel for a while know that I've done the occasional angry video in the past. And some of you think that, yeah, that's great, because he's because like Nick is like laughing at them over there. And I think that's great. <laughs> All right, now what you haven't realized is that I'm kind of like laughing at them over there as a way at ta of talking to you personally about what you think. All right, because like, who gives a fuck what your theology is? Who gives a fuck what your spirituality is? Who gives a fuck about that? What we should care about, I just want to close this box up, okay? What we should care about is where our um, processes of intellectualization really, really comes from, okay? Because from that, we build up our understanding of reality. Every single one of us has an understanding of reality. When it comes to all this like weird supernatural spiritual stuff, you know, it's a little bit more complex because there's so many questions there's no answers right that's that, that's what i've been saying all along basically in a nutshell that, that's me in a nutshell being a nut whatever <laughs> not quite sure why i said that never mind but taking that into account are we still able to speculate all right are we still able to ask questions all right so we got the situation of, let's say, a couple of people, you know, Halloween night, get, getting around the like, Ouija board and the rest of that, fingers on the upturned whiskey tumbler, asking questions, whiskey tumbler moves around left, right and center, things seem to be being spelled out, there's people go like freaking out, the occasional person is um, like crying because they think it's their dead boyfriend trying to call her, uh, you know, talk to her. Uh, you got someone else who's like having a heart attack because they, they now are, are a believer all of a sudden where they've been a staunch atheist for a long time. And then you got someone else who's like, who was a believer who think who was thinking like it should be a little bit more Buffy the Vampire Slayer and there should be some geezer with horns jumping straight out of the board saying who dare disturbs the what way you know thing and so that, that person's now becoming more skeptical and you got all these like weird thoughts and feelings going on but what's actually happening all right you got people who are freaking out and you got this um, little glass that's moving around what we can say is the little glass is moving around that's it that doesn't help matters much though, does it? Because let's say you're asking the question of the whatever the fuck it is, if there is a whatever the fuck it is there, which is actually doing stuff, and some answer comes out, which is then later on down the line, let's say a couple of days, couple of weeks, couple of months, whatever, then proven to have, you know, to, to somehow connect with something else which is real and true, all right? The, the experience for the people who suddenly find this out is normally, ah, you know, oh my God, that's so freaky. Yeah, okay, but it's so freaky, but then what? For... This is, this, this is, that, that, that's like the danger point, all right? Because at that danger point, all right, you've got people who've got some kind of interest or some kind of spirituality or some kind of like um, theology about Ouija boards or spirits or angels or ghosts or demons or life after death, okay? And they will see that freaky thing as like being confirmation and proof positive that whatever it is they think is right. And then you've got other people who will then use that experience to like, ooh, maybe I was wrong. Okay, so they think that it's now proof. And then you've got other people um, like, like me sitting back on the outside thinking, okay, that's, that, that's weird, but what is the objective proof that those two things are connected? So what's the issue? Too many questions. All right. We, you know, you, you can believe whatever you want, but how do you put reality together? Where do you get your ideas from? 
Where do you get your thoughts and feelings from? How far can you take your uh, assessment of stuff, okay, to get to the truth? Because, like, you want the truth. You're hungry for the truth. You're thirsty for the truth. You believe that there is a truth out there. But what if there isn't? <laughs> or what if there is a truth out there, but it is impossible to conclusively, and that's the operative word there, prove po get proof positive. So, what's the use? Whatever is true, and this is what I've been saying for a long time, and I'm going to carry on saying it until everyone understands it, okay? Whatever is true, okay, remains true, no matter what we think, no matter what we believe, okay? Whatever it is that we, so to speak, in inverted commas, hypothetically, the hypothetical we, are uncovering through attempts to have these experiences, is something which is natural. With further investigation, it could have implications for human health, human understanding, and human communication. But it's, it's currently implications. Okay? It's not, boom, we can cure this, that, and the other. The power of belief for some people is so advanced that they will jump to the conclusion that there will be total cures total solutions to everything on the face of the planet as a result of whatever this, that, and the other is. This, is. this is incorrect. This is untrue. This is logically incorrect. This is rationally untrue. So, for you personally, no, there isn't really any real benefit to being involved in occultism, spiritualism, and all the rest of that. No. But, it sure is a laugh it sure is curious, and it sure can inspire you to think deeper. It won't cure you of any diseases, it won't make you rich, it won't bring your lover back, it won't solve your personal problems, but it sure says something about the natural world in which we live, because whatever these experiences are, they are connected to something which is natural and true and right. Whether you're exploring this through Ouija boards, or black mirror scrying, pendulum dowsing, or understanding the symbolism of tarot, or rune stones, or uh, doing this, the, the Wiccan circle casting and going into yourself that way, whatever. It's little aspects of the same thing. And there's psychological aspects to this, there's hypnotic aspects to this, there's also the hypothetical supernatural which I personally believe is a reality, but I believe it's a reality without saying I know it's a reality. I mean, even Alphonse Louis Constant drew the distinction between belief and knowledge, and so do I. Look after yourself, don't go crazy, and remember that sometimes when I'm laughing at somebody else, I maybe even be laughing at you. <laughs>